transposition of the great arteries. Transposition of the great arteries occurs when the aorta and pulmonary artery are transposed. In a normal heart, blue oxygen poor blood returns to the body through the right atrium and goes to the lungs via the pulmonary artery. Red oxygen rich blood then returns to the left atrium, enters the left ventricle and goes to the body via the aorta. In transposition, blue oxygen poor blood returns to the body through the right atrium, enters the right ventricle and goes to the body via the aorta, bypassing the lungs. Red oxygen rich blood is pumped back into the lungs via the pulmonary artery without going to the body. As a result, newborns with TGA are born with a bluish appearance known as cyanosis. In TGA, there needs to be a connection between the right and left sides of the heart so oxygen-rich blood can reach the body. Most commonly, this occurs between the atria, or upper chambers of the heart. This is inside of the right atrium. In a normal heart, this hole is closed to separate blood in the two upper chambers. A patent foramen ovale, or PFO, is a partially closed connection between the top chambers. An atrial septal defect, or ASD, is a completely open hole between the top chambers. In TGA, there needs to be an ASD, or PFO, so that oxygen-rich blood can reach the body. In order to establish normal blood flow, surgery is needed in the first couple weeks of life. This involves switching the aorta and pulmonary artery to their normal location. <laughs>